Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I am going to take out a viburnum and I'm going to replant a viburnum, which is kind of weird. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. This uh, Shindo viburnum uh, that's in this space is just going to outgrow this space. This is a great screening plant. I'm going to dig it up and give it to somebody who can actually use it. My little two-tenths of an acre lot, uh, I, I would, you know, would like to have screening around here and there in some spots where I want to screen. And the, you know, the, the uh, Sunshine Ligustrum is doing a good job. The Osmanthus that's behind it. The Laura Petalum that you can see back here that's in bloom, doing a good job. This Shindo viburnum, if I leave it in the ground, it was already here when I moved into this house. Uh, if I leave it in this space, it's thing could get 25 feet tall and, you know, be out here on the path toward the camera. It'll be in a, you know, 12, 15 feet wide at the base. I can do some pruning on it over the years, but easier to get it out now than it would be later. I'm actually going to plant a uh, uh, viburnum uh, macrocephalum, viburnum macrocephalum or a, a Chinese uh, snowball viburnum. Uh, in this spot. This is a sterile cultivar. I've done, I've got a video on my channel for this plant if you want to go and uh, take a look at that. These are hardy in zone six to nine. The further you are south, the more kind of semi-evergreen they are. So here in 7b or almost 8a uh, where I'm at, it will keep some leaves through the winter. I'm actually just going to allow this to grow up and kind of tree form it, uh, as, it as it grows over the years. These will get softball size um, uh, inflorescence on them in the future once the plant has some more size on it. They start out kind of lime green uh, like they are here, I think you can see, and then uh, get wider and wider as they bloom. These bloom very heavily in April and May, uh, and then again in the fall, you tend to get some residual flowers uh, on this particular viburnum. Again, both are viburnums, but uh, um, this Shindo viburnum gets gigantic. And so I'm going to try to pop this thing out of the ground. I actually don't know how long uh, it's been uh, in this space. But this is a very, uh, very transplantable plant. Let's just call it that. This is a tough as nails uh, kind of a plant. Uh, if I uh, don't come out with a lot of roots on it, I can cut the top back on it. But I'm again, I've got a friend who's got a spot in their backyard. They want to uh, want a screen and they've got plenty of ground space. So this is the perfect plant for them. Uh, looks like it's been in here a little while. Uh, the one thing you know want to know about Shindo viburnum, great screening plant, but wow, does it take a little while for it to get started. Uh, so I'm just coming around the, the drip line of this plant. It's got a couple suckers on it that are outside of the drip line that may end up being separate plants, honestly. And I'm just pulling back lightly on my shovel, not trying to break a shovel. I've had this shovel for a long time without breaking it, so I don't want to do that today. And I just keep circling it until I have all the side roots broken on it. Okay, I'm going to give it a pull one direction and start working it out one, one direction. See, I've got a separate piece here. Let's try to dig that out. Yeah, I can dig that. I can dig that piece completely out as a separate plant, I believe. Just a root sucker. Right there. Right there. Perfect little root sucker. You see that? Um, I'd cut that thing in half and plant it somewhere else in the yard. The reason I cut it in half is because I just damaged so many roots that I don't think it can support all that top. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, he's out. I got a shoe full of soil, but that's okay. But that one is out. It's been there long enough that I may end up getting a, another little shoot from it eventually from the roots that are left in this space. But there you go. I'm gonna stick this thing in the back of my pickup truck and drive it over to a friend's house. I pruned it last uh, last year and it started to leaf out quite a bit. I just want to get it moved before it's anchored in there. That would have been difficult. 
Okay. And the other thing is, it was tucked up in here so far. I actually want uh, this to move, be moved out a little bit further. So here's my Chinese Snowball Viburnum. It's in a one gallon pot. <laughs> a little easier than my uh, Shindo Viburnum job there. Uh, let's get him in the ground again. I think I said it's hardy in six to, ni uh, six to nine. More evergreen the further south you go. Uh, I think most places you'll see this thing listed six to ten feet in height. I've seen them 15 feet plus. And so basically a small, really a small little ornamental tree. And that's kind of what I want here. I want the canopy of this over the other things that I have here. And I'll underplant it with something else eventually. But nice little plant. It's one gallon pot. I've actually had this for a long, long time in this pot. <laughs> probably close to a year without figuring out where I was going to put it. I have it a little too close to that clay era, so I'm going to back them off just a bit. So you can make these decisions. All of these decisions I'm making in this video. That plant wasn't going to make me happy in the future. It's gone. It's going to a friend's house. It's going to be put to great use. Uh, I dug a hole too close to another plant, so I dug a new hole. Uh, all of these things no, no decisions here are, perf are, are set in stone. Uh, breaking this clay up. I have clay soils here, so I'm going to break these little clumps of clay up before I backfill with it. I've got this thing elevated uh, just a bit. The root ball sticking out of the, out of the ground about an inch and a half there. And I've got a little extra mulch in a couple spots in the yard that I'll bring over here and finish remulching. I've got some leaves I can use as well here. But I'm barely going to cover that root ball with that mulch. And there you go. One sterile Chinese snowball viburnum in place of a Shindo viburnum uh, very, very quickly. And uh, I think I'm going to be much happier with this plant in this place. And that's really one of the points on my channel. If something is not making you happy or it's not the right plant for that space, the faster and the sooner you make these decisions and get them out of the ground, things that you're having to spray constantly with an insecticide or a fungicide, whatever it is, the sooner you can get them out of the ground and move on, get something in the ground that makes you happy, the better. Thank you guys for following along on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you're alerted when I upload a video. Because I got lots and lots of content coming, I'm about to do a tour of the yard uh, here in the next uh, few days, and it will include this newly planted uh, Chinese uh, sterile viburnum. Thanks for watching.